and we are here with uh, our welding technology manager, Jani Kumpulainen. Welcome, Jani. Thank you. It's the Max Cool. Could you tell us more about it, please? Uh, yes, it's a modified short arc process for root pass and thin sheet welding, and it's also suitable for MIG bracing. And what kind of materials is it made for? Uh, it's suitable for mild steel and stainless steel welding, and also for MIG bracing with copper uh, silicon and copper aluminium filler wires. So, so what is the, the, the idea that is involved in this process? Uh, very accurate current control and also low heat input. So that's why the large air cups or very thin sheets are not a problem for this process. Excellent. And now let's move on to the next chapter of this story, which is the max position. Tell us, what is the max position? Uh, it's a synergic welding um, process where high and low power alternates. High power makes penetration and low power cools the weld pool in challenging welding position. So what welding positions is it really made for? Uh, it can be used for all positions, but it's optimized for vertical up fillet welds. Okay, and, and what kind of materials can it weld? Uh, it can be used for mild steel, stainless steel, and also for aluminium. So what are the big benefits here? Uh, it's very easy to use for the welder. Just add, adjust your plate thickness and start to weld with straight gun moving and no any weaving needed. Well, sounds like a, a clear benefit to me. And now we move on with the max speed. Uh, given the name of this, the, the max speed, I assume that it has to do with, you know, creating greater speed in the operations, but what else is the max speed about? Yes, you are totally, totally right. But the max speed is modified spray arc process, and the main idea is that welding current is pulsed with very high frequency, and that's why the arc is very narrow and well focused. So that's why we can achieve very high welding speed. So what is it designed to weld? Uh, it's suitable for steel and stainless steel and for fillet welds in PA and PP positions. So where should this process be applied? Uh, biggest benefits um, can be achieved with medium thickness plates uh, such as 3 to 8 millimeter and also when small throat thickness and high welding speed are needed. So, Jani, sometimes these processes are a little bit tricky to understand, but even I seem to get it. So, you're, of course, with this process, you're increasing the welding speed, which we, we covered already. You're improving the weld pool control, which is also important. And you're also reducing, you know, and, and lowering the heat input. Isn't that right? Yes, absolutely oh. right. Okay, so with all of these three together, you're going to be dramatically improving the productivity in the entire welding process. Isn't that right? Yes, yes. That's, that's phenomenal. What, what, a, what a great you know, advance in the entire technology. Congratulations for that. But hey, um, I think it's time for us to take a question from the audience. Now, there are quite a few questions. Let's take this one. You know, what is the difference between the max and wise processes, Yanni? Uh, at least one difference is that with MAX processes you don't need any additional voltage feedback cable and that is great benefit for the welder. Well, I think that's all the time we had to cover these MAX processes today. Thank you so much, Yanni, for your time. Thank you to, hey, to the entire MAX family for the great work that they're doing. Mm -hmm.